My name is Adam Cuthrell. I'm the head fly fishing guide for Further Adventures, also known as the Boot Doctors. And we're out here on the San Miguel River. The San Miguel is a freestone river, which means it's not dammed anywhere in its entirety, which is kind of a dying breed out here in the west. Most rivers are tailwaters, which means the river is dammed somewhere in its location and is controlled by man, so it throws off the natural biorhythms of the river. The Miguel always changes every year, which makes it a very unique fishery. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Having someone who fishes it every day and spends a lot of time out on the river gives you good insight on where the new holes develop. And also, since it's a freestone, we have a wide variety of insect species. The time of year water flows and barometric pressure changes dictates where and when the insects hatch and emerge and go through their various life cycles. So having locals' knowledge gives one a quicker insight on where and when fish is going on. The stonefly insect is one of the most sensitive in aquatic insects. It needs really cold, clean, clear water. And here in western Colorado on the Miguel, the stonefly flourishes. It's a big insect. It's easy to see. Fish go nuts for them. Bait's not allowed in the San Miguel. In most areas, there are some sections where it is allowed. But for the most part, it's flies and lures. And the advantage to a fly rod is you can get into smaller, more precise areas like the eddies behind the rocks. With a bait rod or a spinning rod, you'd be overshooting that stuff and you're blind casting. With a fly rod, you have much more accuracy to get it into the little tiny areas where trout live, so just a little bit more precise. When booking a trip through Further Adventures, all you need to do is just give a call and we'll get you lined out with a time that's good around your schedule, whether it be morning, afternoon, or even evening. We love taking people fishing. We realize it's your vacation, so we'll work things around you. We meet in the shop in the morning or in the afternoon and we get out on the river. You go to the river that's been fishing the best based on the guide's fishing. Being a fishing guide, I'm allowed to fish all over western Colorado as far as the Gunnison, the Encompadre, the Dolores, the San Miguel. Fishing is different from watershed to watershed, and fortunately going from watershed to watershed, I have a pretty good first-hand knowledge of what goes on from day to day. I'm a fly fishing guide because this is my office. The best thing about fly fishing is it's totally escapist. When you're out here, everything goes away. You're just staring at your fly. When you get one, it's like you're six years old again. I got one, I got one. Fishing here in Western Colorado really is awesome. The pressure in other parts of the state are pretty severe. Here in Western Colorado, our population density is pretty sparse, so the fish just don't have the pressure. This is truly a wild, wild river, and catching wild fish is a lot funner than just catching a stalker.